Hey guys, uh, I just figured I'd make another video because I haven't made one in a while. And, um, I apologize, I've been pretty busy lately because wrestling started, like, two weeks ago now. So, uh, I've had practice six days a week, and so it's been kind of crazy. Plus, hunting season just started, so I've been, been going hunting, so I haven't been making many videos and school is taking up a lot of time um i have to get my knee checked out friday and uh like not my collarbone but like one of my ribs i guess and um depending on what i find out with those if i'm out of wrestling for a while i should be able to make more videos i'm hoping i won't be out of wrestling because I'll be really upset. It's my senior year and I don't want to be out of wrestling. So, um, this video is just kind of like to catch up on things, I suppose. Um, if you guys could please do this for me. If this is, uh, one of my second shout out videos, I suppose. If you could go to my friend Cody's YouTube channel, it's, I believe the channel, it's like Cody W. It's C-O-D-Y with a space and a W. Um, he makes different, like, all different kind of videos, I guess. And he just got partnered on YouTube, and he really needs some help getting his channel out there. So if you guys could check him out, that'd be great. And I would appreciate it, and I'm sure he will too. So if you guys could do that, that'd be great. I promised him I would do this shout-out, so... I did, and I'm going to pack a lip now, so feel free to have a dip with me. I'm doing Copenhagen Southern Blend, as usual, because it's my everyday dip. And, uh, I don't know, I'll just talk about random stuff, I guess. I can tell you about, oh, I'll I can tell you what happened in wrestling practice today. It was fantastic. My, oh, it was terrible. I'll just wait till I put a dip in. So, feel free to pack a look with me. Uh, my mud jug is not clean. I haven't got around to cleaning it yet because I'm just too lazy. And I do... Oh, I have a can of, uh, can of wintergreen too, Copenhagen wintergreen. But uh, I'm testing a theory that I heard... I don't know if it's just Copenhagen wintergreen or if it's just tobacco in general or like dip in general, chew, anything of that nature where you have to spit for it. Uh, I'm testing this theory where I heard from a couple people that um, when you're hunting, if you have a dip in, uh, apparently deer really like the smell of like wintergreen and stuff like that. So they'll follow your trail of spit. So I'm testing that theory, so I'm saving that can for hunting, and uh, I'm going to see how that goes. Maybe I'll get a deer, hopefully. Uh, if I sound weird, I believe I'm getting sick, so my voice is kind of messed up. So let's pack a lip now that I got off on tangent. Oh, another thing. I bet you guys will find this funny. I don't think anybody else has done this that I've seen. For whatever reason, I've gotten back into the habit of pulling my lip out when I have a dip in. Or, like, when I go to put a dip in. I don't know why, because I only did that when I started dipping. And that's the only reason, like, in the majority of my videos, I had never put a dip in on camera. But, I don't know why I got back into that, but I did. So, I do this thing now where when I put a dip in, I hold my hand under my mouth so I can catch the dip that I drop and put it back in my can. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Watch me make a mess. I'll try and put it in with one hand and see if I can do that anymore. My baby pinch. Cheers.
Oh, I actually still do that. Okay. Imagine that. Okay. So we were in practice today. Like I said, we practice six days a week uh, on like holiday breaks or whatever. Christmas break, if that's okay with you, you're not going to get offended. I know we have to like call shit like winter break and stuff because people are all offended and they're all a bunch of pussies nowadays. Uh, so, it's Thanksgiving break. However, our wrestling team, we practice, we had school Monday and Tuesday. So we practice Monday and Tuesday, and we, we, the only days on break that we get off are holidays, like legitimate holidays, so we'll get off, like, we get tomorrow off for Thanksgiving and Friday off for, God knows what reason, I guess Black Friday is a calendar freaking holiday, like a legitimate thing, people just go kill each other over freaking shit. And then, Saturday we have this huge scrimmage where a bunch of the teams get together, and we all go to one school. And we just wrestle each other. We split up into our weight classes. It's like the smaller guys will go in one, like, in like the big gym where all the mats are set up, and the rest of the guy, like the smaller guys, will go in like a different place. I don't know if I just said smaller guys for both of those, but get what I'm saying? Like smaller guys in one place and bigger guys in the other place. So, uh, yeah, we do that Saturday. So, anyways, we had practice today. 9 to 11. It was the greatest practice I have ever freaking been to. We were all wrestling, and pretty much the whole team was half-assing it today because we were just we were ready to be on break. We're ready to be done for this week until Saturday. And the guys, like, nobody was trying. Like, we were doing what we had to do, but we were doing it, like, half-assed. And... This one kid, I guess there's like a bug going around. I guess it's the flu or whatever. This one kid legitimately shit his pants today in practice. Funniest thing ever. I don't even know. I think we were doing like, what were we doing? Double legs? We were doing like double leg takedowns or some shit. And he got taken down because we're like switch partners doing whatever. And he got taken down and he shit his pants. And he just ran out of the wrestling room. He come back. Coach, I shit my pants. I don't know what to do. I fucking died. And then it got even better. We were still all half-assed. And this kid changed the boxers or whatever. And got back to practice. And, uh, then another kid got a bloody nose. But he doesn't want to do much anyways. He basically just sits on his ass the whole practice and complains. They're like, oh, coach, this hurts, coach, this hurts, oh, coach. If, if you don't want to do sport, don't freaking sign up for it. Especially something like wrestling. Like, if you're going to be a pussy about it, don't join the sport. <laughs> so the best part was, me and my sister were pissing each other off so bad. We're identical twins. We know how to get to each other. We know how to piss each other off. And when we get in fights, it is fucking terrible. Like, all hell broke loose when you see us get in a fight. And we're not, like, we don't fight like normal girls. We don't pull hair. We don't freaking slap each other and do stupid shit like that. We pull out fucking fist, fist fight. Like, tackle each other, beat the piss out of each other. It's awesome. So, we break out into a fist fight. And, I don't know, I, like, push my sister. I, we, like, kind of black out. Like, we don't, we don't, like, completely black out. But the only thing we pay attention to is where the fuck we're getting hit and where we're going to hit them. So... Uh, usually it's pretty even with who wins the fights but like at first like I shoved her and then she shoved me and then I like pushed her into the wall or some shit and I was like on top of her beating her and then she like got on top of me and she started punching me and she got me pretty good in the side of the head she hit me in the ear and it's like it fucking burnt like a motherfucker so I told her good job for that, because that was a pretty good hit. That was pretty solid. And we're all fucking fist fighting. And she, like, the whole team's like, oh, man, look at that fight. They're so excited. They've never seen girls fight like that. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. And uh, 
So, then they got a fucking cat's hole on the end. Get your head in there. Get in there. They fucking kill you. And then all the guys are like, you know, like yelling. They're so excited to watch this fight. Oh, hold on. And then our freaking coach is like telling us to stop, but we were fighting, so we didn't like pay attention to what he was saying. And then our 220 pounder comes over. My sister's on top of me. We're beating the fuck out of each other. The kid just puts puts her uh, his hand on my sister's back, and she just fucking yells, "Stop!" And I was like, oh, shit. She's about to beat his ass. And then this other kid, our freaking 99-pounder, probably the stupidest fucker I ever met. He's go, he goes, sissy fight. And my sister got up, fucking looked dead in the eye, and almost beat the fuck out of him. She's going to run to the front of the room and kill him. I'm like, no, don't do that. He's only 99 pounds. He's going to fucking die. And my coach was just like, holy shit, I can't believe that happened. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And we just got up, started wrestling again. I think my ear, I don't know if you can tell, it's like, it's so red, it's starting to bruise. Yeah, so I told her good job, because it was a pretty, pretty solid hit. So, I was proud of her. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. I, I enjoyed it, it was awesome. Best practice ever. So, uh, yeah, check out my friend's YouTube channel, subscribe to him, and watch his videos, because... He really, he really needs the support. So, if you guys can do that, that'd be great. Love you guys forever. So, uh, I'll link my Instagram in the description so you guys can, like, message me or, like, comment below or whatever, uh, new videos you want me to do or whatever. So, uh, I'll see you guys later.